Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Minecraft Dinosaur Showcase, guys. We've been a long time, but we're back with uh, Minecraft Java, and we're back with the new Alternacraft release. Yes, Alternacraft, we've done videos before on Alternacraft and their beautiful dinos, but this is a new release. This is the first part one release of the new update. Also, big news in the Alternacraft era is that uh, CompyCraft has uh, partnered with Alternacraft and I do believe there's going to be a uh, bedrock version at some time in the future called Alternacraft but that's all we know at the moment. So without further ado let's give a big shout out to Husky Tacodile uh, who is the owner, Mystical Lizard, Mystical Lizard 10 the author, it's the now on it, <laughs> author, Lego Craft Boy, author, and Alessisly123, author. So there's also other people working on the uh, mod, I, I, I believe. Yeah, for those who've seen the video in the past, guys, you can see some blocks here. I've put all the blocks out. I just want to see if there are any changes. There's shaders. We've got shaders on, and we've got the uh, complementary reimagined shaders and a 64 by 64 faithful texture pack as well. So what are the big changes? One of the big changes, guys, are the fact that dinosaurs now spawn into your world. So you can set up a survival world. But be warned when you come to the villages, because I came to the villages here. And look at this straight away. We have a raptor pack, a new raptor pack, guys. Oh. Oh, listen to these. This is the one. This is obviously the female. From, oh, listen to that Jurassic Park. And there's new animations, new updates. And you can see straight away, guys. And there's new sounds as well. So they're really cool. And we've got the JW Jurassic World uh, Raptor pack as well, which is pretty damn cool. This is a JP Raptor. Uh, and they spawn naturally. So luckily, uh, they don't spawn very, uh, lots and lots. So this is a pre-release, guys. This is like looking for bugs and that. There's quite a few bugs in it, uh, as you will see. But uh, there we go. So you can do a survival world now and try and survive against the raptors and other creatures. We'll go away. But here are the blocks, guys. These are blocks, and if we just go to the uh, go to this, you will see that there are titanium. There's some fossil ore yet as well. I don't know if the fossil ore works with the machines, but there are machines. You can see panite ore, mudstone ore, shale ore, and slipstone ore as well. And you notice that all the different blocks have transferred across to 1.19.2. And then we've got these uh, machines here. We've got the DNA sequencer, extractor, and combinator. And there's this first fence block. I was having to play around with this. This is look what the fence block uh, looks like. Uh, yeah, so it sort of just, just builds block by block. I tried to see if it would work with iron bars, but it doesn't. That's really interesting to see new fence blocks. But they look pretty good anyway. Uh, and this is the titanium stuff here. And here are the machines. So you can see the machines here. Can I click on it? Oh no! Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. But there you go. There's a surprise dino. Just, just come in, we'll come and have a look at that in a minute. They have been updated. They are really good, really top quality guys. So anyway, talk about the spawning. Uh, I went over here. Here's, I think this is gonna be a bug over here. So let me just show you this. We've got an ice biome over here guys and loads of dinos were spawning in. So look, let me just show you over here. So we've got these dinos. Oh, there's pyroraptors over there. Oh, look, more raptors. Oh my God, I didn't realize there were so many skins there, sir. Look at this one. Wow. Wow. So there's some, like we do with Alternacraft, we've got some alternative skins as well. Uh, those look cool as well. So they spawned in the water. We've got pyroraptors, including one that's sitting down. Oh my God. Look at that. And I know there's two types of Pyroraptor, as you can see here. They are, they are looking good, aren't they, to say the least. Uh, so it seems to me that lots of dinos, oh my God, these are the Dromisaurs or no, or, oh my God, look at that run. 
Right, anyway, it's all happening over here, guys. <laughs> so it seems to me that everything spawns on the ice packs, but we'd expect the Hieroraptor to spawn here anyway, which is pretty good that you're going to be able to get these creatures spawning in different locations. I particularly, oh, is that? No, it's a standard Pyroraptor, isn't it? But they look pretty cool. Right, let's showcase these dinos for you. Right guys, so let's start over here. We're going to start with Spinosaurus. There's two types of Spinosaurus. If you notice in the past, there were quite a few. So here is... <laughs> yes, it's back with the phone inside. Yeah. It sits down as well. They're different. So that's one. Uh, this is the normal Spira... <laughs> Spinosaurus. Uh... So that seems to be one colour. We'll come back to it in a minute. I thought there was more. Yes, there is. Look, there's some really bright colorations in these Spinosaurus, although they, they sort of want to go. Oh, there's another one, guys. Uh, maybe they only come uh, awake at night. Let's just put these down then. This is ideal uh, <laughs> to see them all, to see if we got any. That's the same. Oh, no, they're walking as well. Look at that. Wow. That is up there. Yeah. So what we'll do is I like the orange one, the tiger shaped one. Lots of blue ones. <laughs> right. So we got three there. I don't know how many different shades there are, but they look pretty cool. So what we're going to do is time set night to see what happens, guys, because I reckon they will come to life. Yes, there you go. So they all come to life at night. Wow. Let's go put them back to sleep. <laughs> I want them awake in the daytime as well. Uh, they look funny asleep. Uh, but they do look pretty cool, to say the least. There you go. I can wake it up. That is pretty cool, to say the least. <laughs> right, go. So here's the next one. This is the Gen 2 uh, Spinosaurus. Oh, it's a swimming one. Let's get out into the ocean over here. I hoped we would get the swimming ones, uh, as you can see here. So let's just bring these out. Hopefully they'll just waltz into the water. Will they? That is so good. I wonder if we'll bring one in now. Shall we bring one in? Oh, there's a plain one there. Right, let's put them in the deep water, guys. I want to see these swimming. Let's go. Oh no, they don't swim yet. Oh right, they don't swim yet, guys. No, they don't swim yet. I'm sure that's something that will happen in the future. You can see the two skins though. I really like the two skins. Nice to see. Nice to see. I think I'd like a bit more colour on this one. It's a bit pale. <laughs> Some more, please. Right, okay. So, uh, Mosasaurus. Now, this has been work in progress. I wasn't sure whether we'd get it. So, let's just put it on the island here to show you what it looks like out of the water. If you've been following them on the Discord, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes, this is the Mosasaurus. But there's Tylosaurus pictures as well. That's the green one. That's the green one. This is absolutely brilliant. That's the green one. Did we get the blue one? Oh, there. hold on a second. Yeah, I think, are they both the same? Or maybe that's the, uh, well, I don't know, with the, with, the, with the light it is. The light it is, I'm not sure. There's a lot of them in there. They seem to be all green. But they are super cool model, as you can see here, guys. Yeah, there will be some bugs, as we did say. But it still looks pretty good, to say the least. Right, so Indominus Rex. <laughs> Indominus Rex. Let's have a look. This is the sleeping at night. Oh, I like that. Let's put a couple down and then we'll put it. These sleep at night as well. I would like them awake in the daytime. Shall we try this, guys? Let's go. That is... A fantastic model. Oh, wow, to say the least. That is a tremendous model. 
That is superb, to say the least that is. Wow. I'm going to wait again now. I like the, uh, when it, that bit there. <laughs> that is cool. Wow. Right, okay. That's Indominus Rex. Uh, Acrocanthosaurus. Wow, Acrocanthosaurus. I can't remember. <gasps> yes. Oh, we had lots of these. We had lots of Acrocanthosaurus, if I remember rightly. Let's try and we'll see how many we've got now. Oh, that's the brown one with the stripe. Brown one with the stripe. Oh, that's a pet. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, one of the purpley, purpley ones as well. Oh, excellent. Of course, they don't run off on here as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's a lighter color as well as a darker color. Oh, no, they, well, it's maybe, maybe the shaders are doing that. Wowza. So we got one, two, three there at the moment. Fantastic. I don't know how many skins there are, guys, because this is just the way it is. There's quite a few, but uh, I don't know how many. We'll stick with those, I think. Right, next up is Indoraptor. Let's have a look at this. White one. So this is the white one, and this will be the black one. Oh, wow. Oh, there's two different models. Right, okay. So the white one, yeah, the, the this one's a traditional Indoraptor. The white one's got, like, uh, different uh, legs on it. <laughs> looks that is actually when it's sleeping it looks super cool doesn't it so let's uh, change tonight yes yes wow sir that is vicious interactor that looks really 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 good Wow. wow, 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 wow. Oh, naturally spawning. There we go. Oh, that'll, be, that'll be the Allosaurus naturally spawning there. Right, so this is the Allosaurus, which is, we're nearly there. Then we're going to go to, go to the uh, Cerro to Stu shops first over here. Luckily, oh, oh, oh. these are water creatures. I called these baryonyx, didn't I? Sarah to shoe shops. I wonder if they actually will actually go. I don't know if any of the swimming animations have been brought back in, guys. Uh, no. At the moment, until I'm told otherwise, we won't have the uh, swimming animations in. But they look pretty cool to see the least. Uh, I get it. There's only two of those. Sleeping there, one with a yellow head and one with a black head. They are good. Really nice. I can imagine them swimming though. Uh Power Raptor we saw guys. I wonder if they attack each other yet. So there's the brown one and there's the red one. I know there's only two, but the Pyro Raptors don't don't half look blinking good. Wow. Wow. Uh have we got any sheep around here to kill? They were attacking things. I don't know whether they'll attack sheep. Maybe it's pigs. Oh no, they're attacking. That sheep got absolutely wrapped. Wrapped. <laughs> right. Oh, there's another one that's just spawned in. We haven't seen these yet. Uh, so anyway, let's just go to the next batch then. But I do like those Allosaurus. Next up, guys, we have the Oxalia. Oh yes. Excellent. I call them another Spinosauride, but it's a Spinosauride, yeah. They've got the sounds as well. Just, just a, just a brown and a brown and white one. Ah, there's a simple brown one there. Yes. They are loud, aren't they? Very loud. Right. They are very loud. Whoa. You'd be scared if you come across those walking around, so you say, say the least. 
Right, so those are the Oxalis. Right, next up, guys, a Baryonics. Now, we're, we've got two. We've got Gen 2. We haven't got Gen 3, but we've got Gen Normal 1. Normal Baryonics. The blue Baryonics. Right, so you can see that the uh, there's been quite a few changes in a lot of the textures. Uh, this is one of the major changes, I know, from the original. When we had Alternacraft 1.18.2, but they are really nice Baryonics. So that's just one. I thought there were two colours for that particular variety, but there seems to be only one. Uh, and the Gen 2 Baryonics, I wonder if this is the Jurassic World ones. There should be two of these. Should be a gold. And, oh, that's the gold one. Can I have a green? Oh, there's a red one. <laughs> There's a red one. We've got the gold and red. Where's the green one? No. Just gold and red for now. We haven't got the green Baryonics at the moment. I do like the new skin though. The new colour here. This new orange one. Uh, I'm not sure whether these were two one tests this year though. Baryonics. None of the swimming animations have been added yet. I thought there was another Baryonyx, I really did. No, not yet. So those are the only Baryonyxes at the moment. Blue one, but I would like a, like a greeny blue one, probably. Go with that one there. I love the sounds as well. Right, okay, so what have we got next? Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's see if we type the T-Rex. We'll eat some of these. Oh! Ew! Wow! I think there might be a fight on there. No, they're not fighting. They're just like... There's, there's two different T-Rexes. Yes, the T-Rexes are having a T-Rexes. two T-Rexes. Oh, there's a green Rex. So quite a few Rexes, look. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six skins there for a start. So T-Rexes are making short work of the Baryonyx. So it's just literally good. Let's have a look at these again. So we've got the nice red one. I like the orange one, the orangey brown one over there. The green one's nice. Uh, and there's two types of green. This is like the book. The original book from Jurassic Park. And the teeth are pretty impressive as well. Let's have a look at this one. It's been... It's when the teeth open and you can see like the uh, jaw muscles. Right, okay, Scorpius Rex. Right, well, let's see what Scorpius Rex looks like. Oh, oh, it's two Scorpius. I'm glad we've got new skins. Three Scorpius. Four Scorpius. <laughs> four, four different skins. Oh, wow. And the T Rexes and the Scorpius should attack each other. Good to see that we've got the attack animations added. I wonder if the Scorpius sort of uh, hides in the dark. That's pretty good. Let's take a closer look. Go. It's green. It's nice. Excellent. It's good to see all the changes. Uh, so, Nano Socor. Nano Socorus? Oh, yes. Oh, we saw this one out in the wild, so I didn't show you it. Got more than one skin. Looks like we've just got one skin. This is a new one, if I'm correct. We haven't had this one in the mod before. Like a... This is on the back. So, Dromosaurs. Now, we, I think we saw these earlier on. We'll go to this island here. I think these are the ones with the uh, feathery tails. Yes. Let's just bring a few out. Listen to those sounds, guys. So, it seems to me we have one colour. 
one color at the moment, but I do like the blue fleck. They're excellent models. Very fast runners, I tell you what, you wouldn't survive very long against these. Seems to be all the same at the moment. Excellent. Put the head turn in as well. Right, okay. Allosaurus, we saw the two. Oh my word. The two, let's have a put the Allosaurus on here. So let's bring the Allosaurus over here. We saw, well, I think there was only two. That was the yellow with the red. That was the blue Allosaurus. That's the blue. Yes, I think we just got the two, I couldn't remember. Yeah. Ah, oh, another one. <laughs> They attack these. I don't want them attacking each other to be honest. Let's just let's try another one. Let's see if we get any more. So that was a pleasant surprise to see this one here. These seem to be common. The blue seems to be a rare one. detail is really high so velociraptors we need to find we'll go back over to the town so we already saw some of the velociraptors but the velociraptors from JP T L W J W and CC and Dino Tracker so there's a lot of velociraptors so let's just bring them in here over by the sheep and let's just bring a load in And see if we can spot which ones. I think we've probably seen most of them. There's the tiger one. There's oh, we haven't seen the uh, white female one. Didn't come in here, did it? Oh, they're off the hunting packs. Oh, there's blue. Yes, there's blue. Delta. I do like the way they run, but no, no, the only one that didn't spawn in then was the female white. I like the way we got two different varieties of the original JP one. This was the standard one. But I like the red one as well. Oh, yeah, that's like the blue one. Oh, have we already seen that one over there? I can't remember. The only one that's not spawning in. Is the female, of course. Eh, no. Oh, that's a surprise. There we go. There's the female. You like this one. Excellent. Right, so now we're on to the final nine creatures. There's some new stuff in here again. So, Malasaurus first. Whoa. That's an evil looking thing. Is that, will this be the first ever Malasaurus done in a mod? Let's, let's get these down here and then turn it to night. We'll have a look at the different colors. Oh, wow. Oh, that is evil. Right, so we seem to have this one, which is the like the red evil one. Then we got the stripy yellow and purple. Oh, then we got this green one here. And if you hit them, they come up. Yeah, they come up and walk around. Oh, that is absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Right, Gigantosaurus, guys. Hopefully, this will be the latest version. Oh, there's a blue one. It's going to eat the cows and the pigs. Oh, it's like a cows. It's going to be eating the cows. There's a, like a blue one. There's the traditional skin, like in Jurassic World. We just got two skins. 
never know until we look at them. Right, so we've got the two skins. This is pretty fantastic as well. Right. Oh, Atrociraptors. Let's bring some Atrociraptors. I don't know how many. We should get the... We've got the, like, the complete kit. Oh, there's lots. There we go. Let's see what we've got. So these... This looks like Ghost. Like Ghost. So we seem to have... We've got two different stripy ones here. Different... Thought they were different, but not. Then we got this one here, which is off. Then we got these two. So brilliant. Right, Carcodontosaurus. Did I already do these? <laughs> I think did I? We already did these, didn't I? Is this the second time I brought these in? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. Maybe I thought we'd already brought these in, but obviously didn't. Two types there. Seems to be only two types. Big creatures though. Yeah, Carcodontosaurus. I might be missing some textures, like because there are rare textures as well. That's the point. Right, Carnotaurus. Let's bring Carnotaurus over here on this little island. Sway, that's a big Carnotaurus. That's a, I think that's like huge compared to the normal size. It's massive. That's like Toro in it. That's definitely like Toro. Maybe they're all the same. Looks good. Right, uh, Compies. Oh, there's Dromosaurus there. So let's bring some Compies in. Let's just have a look at these. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's a there's there's a problem. Oh, oh, they're only coming out at night, so they're sort of hiding. Let's just put them all in here and then watch them all come out at night. Yes, I want them out in the daytime so we can see them. So that may be a little bit of a bug to sort out. Oh, they're all spawning. And look, oh, those little teeth, the razor teeth that come out at the end. Seems to be just two types. And they disappear in the blocks. <laughs> right, what is this? Is that what this is? A dryo, dritosaurus. Let's have a look at this. Yes. Ah, so on the water, we can see them. Oh, in fact, can we do that with a compies? Yes, if <laughs> we put some compies on the water, we can actually see them. Yeah. These are, I want to have a look at these. They are brilliant. Seems to be only one type of these though. And an intrepidus. What is an intrepidus? Oh, it's a diddy. It's a little of a diddy one. Of a drama drama saw ride, a fly, uh, like a raptor type thing. So let's make it. Oh, oh. Sort of a it's, it's like a small medium creature. <laughs> and last but not least guys is one of my all time favourites Ferrazinosaurus let's put in the Ferrazinosaurus over here whoa that's big maybe the claws could be bigger maybe the claws could be bigger might be a little bit bigger do we get oh let me have a look at this that's with the blue Blue and yellow, I think they're both the same, aren't they? Or is that like blue and orange rather than blue and yellow? Oh, I killed the piglet. I killed the cow. Baby cow. Right. 
I think they're all the same colour. Brilliant. Can we have some more colours? <laughs> we want some more colours. Let's have an alternate, alternate craft one. Uh, I think that's probably, you know, I really like that. It just needs a big, big bigger claws. Bigger claws, maybe. What do you think, guys? What does everybody think? So, uh, that is all the dinosaurs. As you saw, they do naturally spawn. Oh, it's in. These naturally spawned. I didn't put those in. No, they just naturally spawned in the world. A lot of the creatures spawn on the ice, as you saw before. Uh, Dromosaurus must like spawning in the uh, snow, but they are superb. So I hope you've enjoyed that showcase, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed seeing the new updates uh, for Alternacraft. I'm so happy that it's back because I thought at one stage it wasn't going to be. And obviously, uh, Copycraft is going to be developing. A bedrock version of alternate craft as well so i'm not sure how that's going to work uh, but husky tacodile well done great job for you and the team also guys go and head over to their discord because they've got all the updates on there of what's happening they are going to release some more like like part two and part three and they've got uh, other creatures that are not in the mod at the moment which are shown on their discord so go and head over there and you can download this uh, mod from curse forge all the details in the description of this video so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye bye